YouTube. How you doing? It's Tacoma Comics here. I uh, got a little unboxing. I have a lot of stuff sent to school where I work and uh, just for safety reasons so it doesn't get stolen off the porch. Uh, and I haven't been in school for two weeks, so I, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Full disclosure, I have ripped tape or cut tape with knife, but I have not... Um, I haven't looked at anything. So some of this stuff, I've forgotten what it is. I've got no idea of condition. Really excited. A couple of these are purchases from online comic book shops. And a couple of these are the winnings from Hero Initiative Auction. Plus, I went to an LC yesterday, got some back issues. And I went to Half Price Books uh, yesterday and found some cool stuff. So let's start off with that with my Half Price Books. Uh, for two bucks each, half price of cover, I found Unnatural One. And Unnatural 2 by Mirka Andolfo. She does uh, everything but the lettering um, and the translation. This actually was originally printed in Italy. I missed the boat on this, um, but I read them both last night, and it's really cute. It's a really cute uh, cute tale. I'll be excited to get Mirka to sign those at uh, Emerald City Comic Con. Um, but I had a had a good time reading them. Um, a lot of allegory, a lot of metaphor. It's not the newest story in the world. Um, you've probably read similar things and kind of know where it's going. But uh, it's very cute and very well done. The art is really uh, fun to look at. It's something new, um, very bright and vivacious, uh, even when they're trying to look devilish as they are on, on, on this cover. Um, and there's there's definitely something to it. It's There's a reason why it's popular, it's not not just those uh, racy alternative covers. Um, grab myself yet another one of these. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, you meant the comic. The comic is sexy. Well, yeah, uh, it, it is a damn sexy comic. And, you know, the, the way they depict lust in here, um, even though it's uh, an anthropomorphic type of depiction, kind of makes me, oh, you did mean me. There you go. Uh, makes you think. Um, how you doing, JP? I saw you put out a video. I haven't checked it out yet. I was at school today. That was going to be my next thing after I finished the live chat to start watching your video and other videos. Then I got to go pick the kid up from uh, from school. I'm still betting that A-Force is going to be a movie down the line. I have nothing to base that on, nothing to back that up with. I'm betting on it. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, I will grab these all day long if they're at the $1.52 $1 mark. Plus, you can get Jorge Molina. And G. Will Wilson to sign these. Uh, Wilson is almost always at a comic book shop in Seattle on free comic book day. And Melina is going to be at our friend um, Emerald City Comic Con. So another one of those. This one I thought was pretty cool. Uh, I know that Marvel Legacy was an okay read. It was a bit of a dud. Uh, other than renumbering and bringing back Wolverine, I'm not sure what has happened with Legacy. Uh, they've reestablished themselves, sort of. But this was an Alex Ross 1 in 50 cover that I got for like $2.50. So I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it is great artwork. Uh, unfortunately, he's so good that all of his great artwork looks the same. Um, I, I don't mean that to denigrate him, but I mean, um, it is, uh, it's Alex Ross. So you know what you're going to get, these these beautifully realistic drawn um, characters with these these kind of um, glossy, smooth uh, colors blending. Uh, I love it. Uh, I love it for the price. Uh, pretty happy I got that half price bookstore. 50 cents, can't go wrong. Um, I don't think I've got the True Believes of Star Wars. If I do, I've got another one. This is the one I was excited about. It was the sixth printing of Star Wars 2. I've always liked this cover, um, and, and they put it in the green background. Uh, I think it was a different color in the original one. But to have that, that background for the sixth printing, I was pretty excited for that. Um, somebody else is here. Say hello, somebody else. I stopped by an LCS today because it was on my way home. Um, just thought to see what they had and went through some not quite back issue bins. Hey, Sunshine, how you doing? Good to see you in here. Um, and they actually had uh, some X-23s. Uh, I like X-23. I'm trying to get the original run, so I wasn't quite working on, on – Six Print does excite me, JP, just because I had no idea they went um, – they went <laughs> that far. So I, I grabbed this one. I have the costume variant. I never got the original. I was pretty excited to have that. Uh, 
got number four, which is pretty cool. And Sana Takeda, who does, I guess maybe she doesn't do the artwork. Um, no, she doesn't do the artwork on this one. So forget I said anything about Sana Takeda. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool cover. I actually liked the storyline at the time. I had too many comics in my pull list, but I might add this back to my pull list. Uh, there's six, and you know what comes after six. And I'm hoping that's a slit in the... Yeah, it's a slit in the bag, not in the comic. I got another copy of this. This thing has uh, this thing has kept its heat, I guess you could say. You know, it's a very recent comic. First, uh, not a variant. The variant I've got behind me. Um, you can see it over there. The variant's super hot. Uh, like Deodato. Love that variant. But the fact that I got this one for a cover price, I thought it was pretty cool because it shot up right away with the new X Assassin to, uh, to I don't know, like $10, $10 on eBay, $10, $12. Um, and it's, it stayed that way. Sometimes things shoot up with a meteoric rise. And, uh, and then they kind of jump down. Yeah, both covers are great. But this one has kept its value. So uh, I'm going to be excited to get back and read that series. All right, so uh, oh, let's do those two last. This is what I'm actually most excited about because I forgot this, right? Uh, I knew that I had stuff from the Hero Initiative auction that, that the Great Legend and Strictly Comics put together. I won this from Thomas Churchill, and I can't for the life of me remember what I won. So I'm super excited. Like I said in the beginning, I cut tape off, but I haven't actually looked inside. So this is, uh, I'm not cheating. I don't know what's in here. Um, there's bubble wrap, so I'm excited. It's wrapped well. I'm always going to talk about people's wrapping when they ship me comics. Uh, looks like there's just one comic, so a lot of blue tape. Let's get the knife out so I don't destroy this. Yeah. Did it without the knife. Now I've got a new gem mint. Not gem mint, gem uh, mailer, Gemini mailer, gem mailer. I don't know. Uh, what's in the box? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> six print. Yes, I don't think I would order six print. It's in mylar. A little bubble wrap for you. Bam! Totally awesome Hulk twenty two. Is this the first appearance of um? Of Weapon H or Weapon X or Weapon XHY. I can't remember why this is uh, really popular, but this is really popular because it's the first appearance of something. Weapon H, okay. Uh, you know, I, I bid on some stuff and I overbid on some stuff because I thought it was for a good cause. Uh, I've probably gotten this a little bit cheaper on eBay, but I first full appearance. Thank you, Sunshine. I really, really wanted to um, support the Hero Initiative and no, no BS aside, um, or no BS or all BS aside. I can't combine those two. I wanted to support, so I, I felt happy bidding on this. I've got about half of this run, um, and I really liked it, but uh, I hadn't completed the run, and this is the, the tough one to get, but I was really excited to get that. So thank you, Thomas Churchill, for donating. Um, that is really, really cool. Gem and the Holograms new Kickstarter. Ooh, okay. Um, I have actually some some gem uh, covers from the gen the gen Bartel gem covers. Uh, now this one apparently I I won this from Strictly Comics himself, and I think he was the one who was uh, doing the auction. And it looks like I got myself a slab. And I'm not a big slab guy. You guys know that. If you know me, you know my channel. I literally have two slabs back there. One comic, not slab by company, just in case. So, again, I wanted to support the auction. Look at this wrapping, man. It's like, wow. It's like it never got opened originally. Um, I'm super excited for this because I honestly have no idea. Um, yeah, Sunshine, I'm not a big slab guy. I've got a slab on a few things because I couldn't find them raw. Um if I need to, I put, uh, no, I, I, I agree with you. Um, I have, uh, so that saga is just in a case that I bought just to keep it safe. Um, the only other slab actually I own is that, that Miss Marvel. And that's a hard book to find raw. Um, or sorry, that's Captain Marvel with the first appearance of Miss Marvel. 
Uh, wow, I got a whole bunch of paperwork in here. Got an invoice, one free press with five books or more, uh, two free pressed with 10 books or more. Uh, looks like this is, oh, this is Strictly Comics just, just telling us. Comic, I'll support that for sure. Comic book cleaning and pressing service by Strictly Comics, a little coupon. Um, you get some free presses if you order books, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's see, I have no idea what this slab is. Uh, is this the wildlife channel? Yes. They don't care for you. Is that PGX? I don't know. It's, oh, I know what this is. Okay. I think I know what this is. I can tell by the, uh, the logo. It's a 9.0. <laughs> How low can you go? And this is New Superman and the Justice League of China. Um, this is signed. Is this signed by Gene Luen Yang? I don't think so. I got to double check. So signed by Brent Peoples, who did the art. Um, that's the, let me show that off. That's some cool art. Right? It's definitely a painted cover. Um, this is pretty darn cool. Um, I like that a lot. I like this run. Um, Justice League of China. Yeah. So it, uh, New Superman, like the Chinese are trying to create like this uh, superheroes to, to um, compete with superheroes worldwide. And I got to go back. I haven't read it for a while. I've read like issue one through seven or one through six. Um, and uh That Captain Marvel slab will be in the auction. <laughs> Don't think so, Roman. Um, so yeah, it's it's a group of superheroes, and the stories are actually really good. Um, he kind of lucks into being the new Superman sideways. That's cool to have in my collection. I, I like I said, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember ordering that. Uh, I don't know. You guys take your slabs out of these bags. I do. I'm getting a fingerprints on it. Ah, uh, CGC signature series. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see that and looking at it. Oh, there's a tiny spine tick. Maybe that's why it got a nine zero, not higher. Um, but it looks pretty cool. They display pretty well. I'm not a big slab guy, but I can totally deal with that. Uh, Trunkish bidding, maybe. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, let's just say I was trying to help out the hero initiative and leave it at that. Um, JP knows a thing or two about drunk bidding. He's got some experience in, in that uh, arena. What is this? Uh, I want to thank you for participating in the 2018 book comic book community charity auction for the Hero Initiative. I absolutely love this community. I hope that you enjoy your winnings. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do. Blessings, Edwin from Strictly Comics. I actually got two signatures. I got Brent People's signature and I got Edwin's signature from Strictly Comics. Um, so there you go. Uh, pretty excited. Pretty excited. That's pretty cool. I'll put that somewhere where I keep paperwork that I think I'm going to do something with and end up not doing something with. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So this one came from Sanctum Sanctorum Comics and Oddities. Uh, got a little bit of that eBay tape on it. Again, Gem, Gemini Comic uh, Supplies. Nice job. Uh, by the way, JP, is that uh, Jen Bartell who's doing the uh, who's doing the um, gem in the holograms Kickstarter? Or is that somebody else? Sorry, I'm just trying to clean up some garbage here so I don't get yelled at later. Uh, hey, Bake, how you doing? Garbage, 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 and comics. Now, one of these is. Uh, the new Batgirl, um, 30 or 31, whatever they're up to. The last Middleton, I think, at least. Um, so nothing major exciting there. Probably got it for like 50 cents cheaper than on Walt and paid shipping. So it's not cheaper at all. But let's see what I got here. Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah. So I got Batgirl 30. Still need 23, but uh, looking pretty good there, Batgirl 30. Um, that Kickstarter might be under a different name. Okay. Silver Age Dave. Hey, nothing silver here. All Copper Age or Modern Age. But look, it came in this nice top loader, like it's plastic. So anyway, this is the Jen Bartell 1 in 50 variant for the new Iron Heart. Iron Heart number one. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm trying to get, get the light on without getting the reflection. This is going to be tough. Let me take it out. Let me destroy it by taking it out. Hey, they put two backing boards here. That's a little bit brighter. So I kind of uh, really wanted that one when I saw it. I was not going to originally get that. There we go. Got a little bit brighter um, because I wanted to get the uh, Stephanie Hans cover. But then I was like, you know, after I went for the Stephanie Hans cover, I'm like, you know what? I want that Jen Bartel cover. I'm going to get her to sign it at Emerald City. And just the fact that Sanctum, you know, I'm always going to call out good companies. Sanctum Sanctorum Comics. Look what they put that in. That is not like, uh, that's not something that's required right they could have put that in mylar or just the bag itself wrapped in the paper bag in the gemini and that would have been sufficient this is extra mile so i'm calling out sanctum sanctorum comics for doing a freaking good job on their packaging uh that is really nice to see all right the last one comes from comic exposure i've spoken about them before i swore i was never going to use them again they take a long time to deliver stuff. This is another variant for the Iron Heart number one, which, if you recall, came out about a month ago. I got this stuff. This one actually was shipped today. I know that you could have got, um, I haven't been to school for a while, but I, I was getting the email updates. They tried to deliver it Saturday. Right? School's on open Saturday. They couldn't get in the gate. So then they um, delivered it today. Luckily, you, USPS did not try Sunday. So this is what I got. One, two, the Stephanie Hans Ironheart number one, one in one. I think this is also one in 50. Um, they want me to show or hide your comment. I'm going to show it, JP, because I am not afraid to have a little inappropriate language on my channel. That's how we roll here. I'm loving that. I'm loving that as much as I loved it when I saw it first time out. Um, very, very cool. I still have the, um, she did a store variant, I think with Stadium Comics for the new Captain Marvel number one that's coming out. I, I've got that one coming in the mail. I guess that didn't come out yet, so it's hard to get a book that's not released. Let's see what's going on in the chat. All about comics, man. JP is going on a tear here. Batgirl, very shiny, good packing, sunshine. We got seven people here, so some of you got to make yourselves known. I know Bake the Snake was here, sunshine, all about comics. Dave, uh, means there's like three of you who are remaining an anonymous. Um, so let's see. I should do one of those stupid Twitter polls. Which cover do you like better? Um, after reading it, I totally dig the sentiment behind this cover. Right, but uh, I'm going to Stephanie Hans all day long. Man, look at that. It's just gorgeous. Probably going to put this book in this case just to uh, <laughs> just to be like that. Yeah, the Hans one is, is hands down, I think, um, just a greater cover. I think I got a good deal on this, uh, which is why I got it. These were not cheap. I may try to sell one to recoup some money. I don't know why. I Oh, I got two. Um you know, what happened was I had ordered them from Five Kids Comics at a really cheap price. And then Five Kids Comics went out of business. And the guy sent this one of those super long emails telling everybody, sorry, can't do it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, guy's not auctioning this off yet. <laughs> um, but I, I emailed the guy back and forth. I said, look, I understand it's a tough market to get into. Um, and... You know, I'd really appreciate a refund if you say you can't get the books. 
Um, I think they thought they'd get more orders and that they'd be able to order incentive variants and sell them online. And they weren't able to get the uh, get the incentive variants. So they went out of business, but the guy did refund me. So I had some money um, available and I ended up uh, going back to Comic Exposure, a company that I don't like because they take forever to ship stuff. Uh, but I got it and it's in good condition. So it seems pretty good. Uh oh. Yeah, people trying to bid on my uh <laughs> my stuff. I have been waiting forever for that, JP. You're right. Uh let's see. Sunshine likes the Hans. JP likes the Hans. APMC wants to purchase the Hans. Um oh wow. Who Stephanie Hans on Facebook? See, I don't do Facebook, man. I, I follow her on Twitter and Instagram. Would you believe I ordered a book today from Ireland and DHL is delivering to me Wednesday? Pretty good, Dave. Pretty good. But it's you. They probably said, oh, this is Silver Age Dave. This guy has a good collection. Let's let's hurry up. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, Sunshine is Irish. Uh, that's how they roll. And let's see. The show can start. Well, Murph, you're going to get the recap because uh, time is at 2.42. I got to leave in 16 minutes to uh, grab my kid from school. So as we wrap up here, let's back up a little bit. I went to Half Price Books the other day, and I found Unnatural 1 and Unnatural 2, the regular covers, uh, for Half Price, so two bucks each. I picked up another A-Force with Jorge Molina on the cover because I like it, and I think A-Force is going to do something in about five or six years in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe, sometimes known as the MCU. For uh, half off cover price, I found the Alex Ross 1 in 50 variant to Marvel Legacy. Pretty sweet cover there. Really great, great artwork. I like that. Um, found a True Believers Star Wars. So I picked that up for uh, 50 cents. And then um, six printing of Star Wars number two, just because I was psyched that it went to six printings. Some people in the chat thought I was crazy for saying that. Uh, my LCS still had a cover price, uh, X-23 number one. I never got this cover because I got the um, costume variant. Uh, I've picked up four, which I thought was a cool cover. Picked up six. And then I was extremely excited uh, to find another copy of seven at cover price. From the Hero Initiative auction, not quite remembering what I had bid on, so it was exciting to get here. I did get Totally Awesome Hulk number uh, 22, the first full appearance of Weapon H. I have this most of this run, so I'm excited to add that. Uh, also from the auction, apparently I bid on and won, perhaps a little into my cups, as uh, JP was noting. Um New Superman and the Justice League of China, number is this 21. I got a book 21 and a book 22, signed by Brent Peoples. I'd love to crack this open and get it signed by um, Gene Luen Yang. I really like his work on uh, a lot of stuff, Boxers and Saints, and a uh, whole bunch of really good stuff that he's done there. And then um, 19 million, a true believer. Yeah. And then from some uh, online comic book shops, I grabbed myself the new Batgirl, which is looking good. Not looking as great as the earlier ones, but still looking really good by Joshua Middleton. I believe is 30 his last one, and Art Germ's on 31, or is 31 the, I don't know. And then I also got these beautiful Ironheart variants. There is Stephanie Hans. So happy. And... There is Stephanie Hans. I can't remember if this is 1 in 100 or 1 in 50. I got to look it up. Uh, and then finally, I got the Jen Bartell one, which is good. I don't – I mean, I love the read. Is she the new, the new lady, Eve Ewing, who is um, like a professor and a, a novelist, um, just wrote the hell out of this. Really, you could not get a better first issue to establish a character and make you like a character than Ironheart number one. But what I love is that um, Sanctum Sanctorum Comics put this in like a sick top loader. That's like, uh, I mean, they probably get them cheap in bulk retail price, but that's going to cost me like 10 bucks just for that hard plastic top loader. So pretty excited. Like I said, I'm going to put the uh, Hans variant in the top loader. All right, let's wrap up the chat here. Uh, 
Dave apparently is listening and driving. JP wants us to think that he likes people we know better. Um, an unnatural find. <laughs> <laughs> the Alex Roslo Sunshine Man, I might put that up for auction on um on uh all about comics Wednesday night because uh because I'm not gonna be on the New York Warriors tomorrow night. Um no, just because uh I'm not in love with that or I didn't super want that. So if you're interested, look out for that in the auction. Uh that might be one of my lots. Uh put that with some other stuff. Star Wars does have a true believers, um, and a six printing. Let's see. Middleton to art germ. Middleton is great in art germ. You know, I don't disagree. Uh, I, maybe like art germ's best stuff has been out there. But uh, if you look at what Middleton has done in a run of Batgirl books, I haven't seen um, like six covers in a row. All so good. And only two or three of them are are similar um he went for like four to five different styles in like a six run or seven run cover series and um i think really really knocked it out of the park um and all about comics is two in one hand batgirl looks like she works at a walmart yeah she does look a little uh frazzled there um just the model middleton uses walmart cashier uh she has the surprise look oh my god you have coupons <laughs> oh, you guys are fucking hysterical, dude. This is just, I like this. I don't list end. Uh, JP ends the chat with, or like, why the fuck is this dude taking my pick? Yeah, there you go. Um, APMC, I, I agree. Maybe you should start collecting everything Middleton's ever done. <laughs> Add it to your Adam Hughes uh, collection. Never stop buying comics. All right, I got uh, some comics to put away, some garbage to deal with, and then if I don't pick up the kid, the wife disowns me, takes half my stuff, and will probably sell my comic book collection. So I'm going to let you guys go, uh, <laughs> and I'll talk to you all soon. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate not doing this to a blank page and just you know crossing the fingers that somebody else will watch it later. So you guys have a good day, and I'll see you all on uh, All About Comics auction Wednesday night. Take care. Peace, Murph. <laughs> JP's on a on a streak today. <laughs>